we are going to continue on our introductory series on Unreal Engine. In this video, we are going to create a daylight of this interior scene in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. My name is Viral Shah and welcome back to my channel Render Rebels. As you guys can see, I have already loaded my interior scene in Unreal Engine 5.4. You can also use 5.3, 5.2 or 5.1 to follow along this process. So this is an interior scene in which I have already created three cameras here. So as you can see, this is my first camera. This is my second camera and this is my third camera here. We are going to start by creating a post process volume first because I want that I should control my exposure manually. So I always tend to use post process volume whenever I am lighting in Unreal Engine. So let's again go to our default camera view here. Let's go to create. Let's go to visual effects and let's add a post process volume here. I want to affect whole scene here. So I will search for infinite bound and I will make sure that I turn this on here. Now I will go to my exposure settings here. So I will just scroll down and I will turn on the metering mode to manual and I will just give the exposure compensation value to around 10. So 10 is generally a good starting number. Then you can tweak along with your lighting also. So let's add a directional light first so we can have our sunlight coming from the windows. So if I go out from my camera here and if I go inside, you can see here I am having this window here and there is a curtain so the light will be coming from this side. So let's just go to create here. Let's just go to lights and let's add a directional light. here. Now as soon as I do that here I will switch my unlit mode to detail lighting or lighting only. And now you can see we are getting this lighting here. Let's press ctrl L here and let's just rotate our sun so we get something like this into our interior scene. So let's do something like this here. Now let's again go to our sign camera actor. Now you can see we are getting something like this here. I tend to use lighting only mode whenever I'm doing lighting in Unreal Engine. And at the end I switch to lit mode whenever my lighting is done and I only need to do some final touch ups in post process volume. So let's just press Ctrl L again and let's just do something like this here. Okay, so this is looking nice. Now let's just see some properties here. So what I will do, I will just switch the mobility to movable here and I will go downwards and I will just increase my indirect lighting intensity. If you don't know what this does, you can check out my introduction to exterior lighting in Unreal Engine and you will get the idea that what is indirect lighting intensity and how does it work. So let's just give the value of 5 so we can have more secondary light bounces into our scene. This is looking good now. Now let's just go out of our camera here. And if I scroll upwards, you can see we are getting this directional light here. Now let's just add a HDRI here so we can have our environment or you can also use sky atmosphere if you want. But we are going to use HDRI. So let's just go on to create. Let's just go to lights and let's just add a HDRI backdrop here. Now as soon as I do that, you can see we are getting something like this. But if I press Q here, you can see our building is downwards here. So we need to make sure that we are going downward here something like this and we need to make sure that our sphere is big enough so that it casts lights around everywhere. So let's just take the size of our sphere to around 15,000 and now you can see we are getting this light here. So let's just go to our camera again and now you can see we are getting this result. Now let's just go to our skylight here and what we can do we can just use this specific HDRI here also. So let's just go to SLS specified cube map and let's just load that HDRI here. So let's just go to HDRI backdrop. Let's just search for this HDRI which is around here and now we are going to load this HDRI into our skylight here. So we get some colors also into our scene. Now if I switch from lighting only to my lit mode, you can see we are getting something like this into our final result. I have already applied materials into my scene. If you don't know how to create materials, you can check out my introduction to materials in Unreal Engine and you will get the idea how you can create your own materials here. Now let's increase our intensity of the sky to around 3 or 4 or 5 maybe. So let's just go for 4 here. And now you can see we are getting some light into our scene also. So let's just switch to our another camera here. Now you can see we are getting something like this here. And if I go to my sign camera actor 3, we are getting something like this here. Just ignore this curtain material guys because we are going to have one session in which I'm going to show you how to create proper curtains for part tracing and for lumen also. 
So let's just go to our original camera here. Now you will say this scene is looking dull. I also agree with that. You can play with the exposure and you can say it is done. But I am going to show you a trick which I use to get some extra shadows to get some extra details. So let me show you that method now for that you need to create a rectangle light and you need to assign it to each and every window. If I go out here and if I see here we are having this window here and we are having this window here. So what we can do we can have one rectangle light here and we can have one rectangle light here as well which comes inside. So let's just create a rectangle light here. So let's just go to create. Let's just go to light and let's just create a rec light. Let's just press E and let's just rotate it here. Okay, 90 degree. Let's just press W here. You what you can do, you can take it inside also. So let's just take it inside here. Okay, now you can see it's coming inside here. But as soon as I do that, you can see we are also getting this reflections into our scene here. If I go somewhere around like this, you can see we are getting this reflections. So there is a solution for that. Scroll downwards, go to advanced step and just make sure that your specular scale is set to zero. So you will not get light in your specular values here. So we are going to move it here. Okay, something like this and now we are going to resize it. So you can have four lights here or you can have one big light. It's up to you guys. You can play with the values and the light intensity also. So let's just click on to movable here. Let's just make sure that our width is set to something like this here. And let's just set our source height to something like this. Now let's just move downwards here. Let's just take out the light here. And now you can see this is looking something like this. So let's just decrease our width here. So we are getting something like this here. Now this is the trick that you can use to get some really good indirect lighting intensity. So let's just do something like this. Okay, now here is the trick. What you need to do, you need to scroll downwards and you need to make sure that you increase the indirect lighting intensity here. So let's just go to our camera here. And now let's just increase the indirect light in intensity to around 8. And now you can see we are getting some really good indirect lighting intensity into our scene with the help of our rectangle lights here. You can do the same thing onto another window also but I am right now going to focus on this camera only. Let's go upwards here. Let's just increase intensity. To something around 50 and now you can see we are getting some really good lighting so let's just go to lit and let's just switch to lighting only and now you can see how our shadows are looking and how our light is affecting our whole scene so let's just go to another camera view here and now you can see we are not getting our light till here so what you can do you can increase the attenuation radius and as soon as you do that you can see our lighting is going till here so if your lighting is only affecting this half area or something like this, you need to make sure that your attenuation radius is increased here. Now let's just go to our sign camera actor again. So this lighting is looking nice, but I want my sun shadows to be soft here and I am using ray tracing here. So I am going to use that for each and every light. So let's just go to directional light here. Now let's just increase the source angle to something like 5 here and now you can see we are getting this soft shadows here. Now let's just search here for ray because we are going to use ray tracing for this project. So let's just switch from use project settings to enable. If you are not having RTX card you can keep it off. It is not an issue here but I am going to use RTX because my graphic card is having RTX cores here. So I am going to switch the sample per pixel to around 4 here. So I get less noise from the light. I am going to do same thing for our rec light as well. So let's just switch to enabled RTX. So ray tracing shadows are having around 5 samples here also. Now let's just do same thing for our HDRI backdrop into skylight. And we are going to make sure that it is set around 5 here also. Now we are going to increase the lighting samples of lumen. So we get some really good result in indirect lighting as well as in this shadow area also. So let's just go to our post process volume here. Let's just search for lumen. Let's just make sure our global illumination is set to lumen here. 
we are going to increase the lumen lighting quality to around four year and we are going to go for lumen scene details which are really small i am going to have another video on lumen itself so just you can follow along with me if you want so let's just do it around four year and i want some really good finer gather quality so i'm going to increase it to eight year and as soon as i do that you can see for four you can see there is noise here and if i set it to eight you can see our noise is gone from this area here from this dark area here now this is looking really good so let's just switch to lit mode now as you guys can see this scene is looking somewhat flat so these are some settings that i generally use which you can also use to get some really good realistic results into your interior scenes so we are going to go to post process only but we are going to scroll downward here we are going to make sure that our bloom is set to convolution and we are going to go for the value of 0.2 or 0.3 here then we are going to scroll downward we are going to make sure that our chromatic abbreviation is set to around 0.2 or 0.3 according to your scene so let's just do 0.2 for now let's just scroll downwards again let's just have our highlight contrast and shadow contrast and our detail strength let's just increase it to 1.4 and you will see we are getting some really good contrast into our scene here now if you feel that you are having some really overexposed area and you are having issues with highlights then you can just decrease this highlight contrast and it will make sure that you don't get that overexposed areas and then you need to also decrease the shadow contrast if you find your shadow is way too strong into your scene so now if i tweak this this is looking really good this is without post process and this is with post process now you can also play with the values of the color grading also like if i scroll downwards here and if i just turn on the vignette here and if i go around 0.5 and if i have the sharpen but i don't use this sharpen i use a console command which I use in movie render queue also and in viewport also that is our image toner sharpen so just write here r dot toner and you will find a tone map sharpen here let's just take the value to around 4 here and now you can see we are overall sharpening our image here in the scene now let's just do one thing let's just scroll downwards here let's just have some temperature into our scene so we are going to go for a cool temperature here so let's just increase the values here to around something like this and now if you want you can have a overall saturation also so if you want a desaturated look you can go for something like 0.5 and if you want a saturation look you can go around 1.2 or something like that and this is looking really good i find that my chromatic abbreviation is a bit more so i am going to decrease that here so let's just do 0.1 here and this is looking nice now let's just go to our another view here so let's just go to sign camera actor 2 and this is how it is looking again you can add the rectangle light here you can play with the sun values here but my main focus was this camera so this is how it is looking in this camera and if you find that you want to increase the exposure then you can directly go to that camera and you can search here for exposure and you can just tweak this camera exposure by uh, doing it to manual and taking it to 10 which was default and then you can increase it to around 11 you can see we are getting something like this but 10.5 is a good value if you want to see our lighting is not getting overexposed then you can again switch from lit to detail lighting or lighting only and now you can see this is how our lighting is going to look now let's just go to lit here now we can have our high quality screenshot here yes i know guys this glass is not looking good at all because we are not using ray tracing translucency into our scene we are going to create glass and curtain material into a different video but right now our focus is on interior lighting here so let's just press f11 here now we are into full screen let's just click on this let's just click on high resolution screenshot and you can have the screenshot multiplier set to 2 and give it a bit and your render will be done here this is how easy it is to do interior daylight lighting in unreal engine you can also use part tracing with this method and it is going to look more beautiful we are going to have a separate video for night light in unreal engine for an interior scene but until then if you like my video please press that like button subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who wants to learn unreal engine see you guys next time bye bye